فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأصلي وأسلم على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Brothers and sisters As a lot of you are probably aware of um, A couple of weeks ago I had said uh, a statement and that statement was that our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he praised the khawarij and I also mentioned that the noble companion Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma he also praised the khawarij now that statement of mine when it was put to the great noble scholars of our time uh, from them Sheikh Salah al-Fawzan Hafizahullah tabarak wa ta'ala and Sheikh Salih al Luhaydan and other than them from the scholars they explain and they mention that this is not correct and that it's wrong and I as a small student of knowledge when great noble scholars like that speak in which Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala ordered us in the Quran to go back to the scholars and the people of knowledge. As he said subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَإِذَا جَاءَهُمْ أَمْرٌ مِنَ الْأَمْنِ أَوِ الْخَوْفِ أَذَاعُوا بِهِ وَلَوْ رَدُّوهُ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ وَإِلَىٰ أُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ If only you take it back to the scholars and the people of knowledge. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he said, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تعلمون. And Allah praised the people of knowledge. And so did the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah praised them by saying, يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He said, أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتُ الْآنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةَ وَيَرْجُوا رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِي الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ إِنَّمَا يَتَذَكَّرَ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ So our scholars, they have a tazkiyah, a praise from Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And we were ordered to refer back to them and to take knowledge from them. So when great scholars like that speak and they clarify a matter, a student of knowledge is to adhere and to respect the scholars and the people of knowledge. And it is a honor, it's a virtue for a person to come back to the haqq when it becomes clear to him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا إِذَا مَسَّهُمْ طَائِفٌ مِّنَ الشَّيْطَانِ تَذَكَّرُوا فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْصِرُونَ The people of piety, taqwa, when shaitan comes and he whispers to them, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he tells us, فَتَذَكَّرُوا they remember Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْصِرُونَ then they are those who have insight. So whenever they come with shortcomings, they remember Allah. Allah also said about them, the righteous people, the true believers, Allah said about them, they are those who when they come with shortcomings, when they do something wrong, أنفسهم, or they transgress on themselves. ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ They remember Allah. فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ And they ask Allah for forgiveness. وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Who is the one who forgives other than Allah? There isn't no one. Only Allah is the one who forgives. وَلَمْ يُسِرُّوا And they are not consistent and continuous on their shortcomings. They are not consistent. They are not continuous. They're not persistent on it. They repent. And as you're all aware of brothers, when a person does a mistake privately, then he repents privately. But if he does a mistake publicly, the person repents publicly. And he comes back from that statement publicly. 
Does Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا وَأَصْلَحُوا وَبَيَّنُوا Those who repent, who perfect, and who clarify. So I don't believe our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he praised the khawarij who are kilabu nar as the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said. Brothers and sisters, coming back from a mistake or a shortcoming you have done is an example set by those noble people who we were ordered to follow their footsteps. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he gives us a method, rafi' a noble example. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he found out that his daughter, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, um, was accused of zina, and she was free from it, as Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala clarified in the Qur'an, in the second page of Surah An-Nur, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ جَاءُوا بِالْإِفْكِ عُصْبَةٌ مِنْكُمْ لَا تَحْسَبُهُ شَرًّا إِلَىٰ آخِرِ الْآيَاتِ Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he freed Aisha from high above. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he found out that one of the people who participated in this issue of the forged statement against our mother Aisha is the noble companion Mistah ibn Uthath radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Mistah was from those people radiallahu ta'ala anhu who Abu Bakr used to provide for him. And so when Abu Bakr found out that he participated in it, and the ayah came down to clarify that, Miss, uh, that Aisha was free from what was said about her, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he swore, Allah yunfiqa alihi, that he's never going to provide for him anymore, and he's not going to give him anything. And then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he sent verses, which are going to be recited until the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَلَا يَأْتَلِ أُلُوا الْفَضْلِ مِنْكُمْ وَالسَّعَةِ أَنْ يُؤْتُوا أُلُوا الْقُرْبَى وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَالْمُهَاجِرِينَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ The Baytul Qasid, or the Wajhul Istidlal of the ayah is the last part, inshaAllah. Which is, وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أو وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا Forgive and forget and let go. أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Do you not want for Allah to forgive you? وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ And Allah is the one who is most forgiving. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the ayah came down, Abu Bakr, being who he is, Abu Bakr, a noble, virtuous companion, he replied by saying, Bala. Abu Bakr screamed out and said, Bala, of course. Wallahi, by Allah, inni la uhibbu an yaghfir Allahu li. Of course, I want Allah to forgive me. So Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu went and he started to provide for Mustah again. So you see when the ayah came down, the sahabas and the noble individuals are those waqafun in the hududillah. They stand. The ayat govern them. Because they know Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. He said, وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَةٍ إِذَا قَضَى اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَمْرًا أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخِيرَةُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِمْ And they know Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. He said, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِي مَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتْ وَيُسَلِّمُ تَسْلِيمًا And they know Allah says, وَمَنْ يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُسْلِهِ جَهَنَّمُ and that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he said, فَإِن تَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ So they were qafur in the hudud illah. They will stand on the, that line. Also, Imam al-Shafi'i said, as it's in the book, Tawali Ta'sis, that Imam al-Shafi'i, he said, كُلُّ مَسْأَلَةِ Every matter تَكَلَّمْتُ فِيهَا in which I have spoken about. وَصَحَّ الْخَبَرِ and the narration has authentically been transmitted عَنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ from the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم عند أهل النقل from the people of transmission, the people of hadith it is authentically transmitted بخلاف ما قلت but the statement of the Prophet is in opposition to what I, Imam al-Shafi'i said فَأَنَا رَاجِعُ and I will come back from my statement 
في حياتي while I'm alive وبعد موتي and after I die meaning my statement فاضربوه عرض عرض الحائض smack it against the wall رسول الله spoke عليه الصلاة والسلام you see they used to come back and Imam al-Shafi'i as you're all aware of he had a madhab which was qadeem and then he has a madhab which is jadeed the madhab in Iraq and the madhab in Misr why? because it became clear to Shafi'i in narrations which he didn't stand over or he hasn't seen before and so he took it back also Ibn Rajab rahimahullah in his great book Al-Farq Bayna Al-Nasiha Wa Ta'yeer he mentions كان أئمة سلف المجمع على علمهم وفضلهم يقبلون الحق ممن أورده عليهم وإن كان صغيرا ويوصون أصحابهم وأتباعهم بقبول الحق إذا ظهر في غيره في غير قولهم. He said Ibn Rajab that the أئمة السلف who their nobility and their knowledge is unanimously agreed upon they would accept the حق from whoever transmits it to them whoever brings it to them even if that person was small and young. And they would advise their followers and the people who were their students to accept the haqq as when it becomes clear. Even if it's in the speech of the other than themselves. And Imam Al-Ajuri rahimahullah in his book, Akhlaq Al-Ulama, the characteristics of the scholars. He said, in after, if a scholar gives a fatwa, bi mas'ala, a matter, fa'alima, and he realizes أنه أخطأ that he did a mistake. If he realizes that what he did or what he said was wrong, لم يستنكف. He doesn't become arrogant. أن يرجع عنها for him to come back from it. He doesn't become arrogant. وإن قال قولا even if he said a statement فرده عليه غيره and other than him I mean somebody else refuted him on it. He said something and somebody refuted him on it. He wouldn't be arrogant to, to accept it. He won't be arrogant. He will accept it. Mimman huwa a'lam. He will accept it from whoever is more knowledgeable than him. Or mithla. Or anyone who's like him. He will accept it from him. Or duna. Or anyone who's below him. He will accept it. And then he said a very powerful statement. And he said after that, فَعَلِمَ أَنَّ الْقَوْلَ كَذَلِكَ And he knows that the matter is this. رَجَّعَ عَنْ قَوْلِهِ He will come back from his speech. Is that it? No. وَحَمِدَهُ عَلَى عَلَى ذَلِكَ وَجَزَهُ خَيْرًا He praises the person who brought him his fault and told him that he was wrong and he says to him, may Allah reward you with good. So that's what the people of knowledge were, the pious predecessors. Now brothers, I don't want you to think that I'm saying I'm a scholar, I got it wrong and so I'm repenting as a scholar ever then. Never. But what I'm saying is that these are, our, these are the people of knowledge. And these are the pious predecessors, the Sahabas. As the poet said, إِن لَمْ تَكُونُوا مِثْلَهُمْ فَتَشَبَّهُوا إِنَّ التَّشَبُّهُ بِالْكِرَامِ فَلَاحُوا If you are not going to be them, then imitate them, for verily imitating the righteous people is a virtue. And the people who brought my mistakes, and there were a lot of brothers who were very close to me, who called me, who spoke to me, who would discuss the matter with me, and I really have a lot of respect for them. For not just watching me do a mistake and not telling me. And that is a true, honest, sincere individual who comes to you and tells you your fault and tells you, Akhi, you're wrong. It, it, we shouldn't be like some people the way they fell into shortcomings. A ta'asub. Fanatic towards their teacher or the person they love or the person that they listen to, become very fanatic, that they try to what? They try to say that he is correct and nothing's wrong with him. And it reminds me of the people of Madhab, the way they try to force people to follow a particular Madhab. Like the one who said, he said, فَلَعْنَةُ رَبِّنَا أَعْدَادَ رَمْلٍ He said, فَلَعْنَةُ رَبِّنَا أَعْدَادَ رَمْلٍ عَلَى مَنْ رَدَّ قَوْلَ أَبِي حَنِيفَةً He said, may Allah is cursed be upon the amount of pebbles and uh, sand that are on the earth on the one who rejects the statement of Abu Hanifa. May Allah's curse be upon them. That's what he says. Ta'assub. Also another one he said, أنا حنبلي ما حييت وإن أموت فوصيتي للناس أن يتحملوا. 
He said, I am a Hanbali whilst I live. And when I die, my advice to everybody is to become a Hanbali. Another one came and he said, Ana Shafi'iyun in Hayitu wa in Amut fawasiyati lil nasi ayyata shafa'u. I am a Shafi'i. And my advice, and while I live, I'm a, I'm a Shafi'i. When I die, I tell every single person to become a Shafi'i. And this is a ta'assub. Rizalika Abu Mu'ali al Jawili rahimahullah. He mentions that it is wajib everybody to follow Imam al Shafi'i. Wajib. Fardu'ain. Everybody has to. And why? Because Imam, he brought 16 mas'ala which Imam al Shafi'i rahimahullah uh, spoke about in which he was correct and he said everyone has to follow him. So I don't want people to be like that. I want people to realize that we are like a tayammum, a tayammum. And the scholars are like the wudu. And the scholars they say, إِذَا وُجِدَ الْمَاءَ بَطَلَ التَّيَمُّمْ إِذَا وُجِدَ الْمَاءَ بَطَلَ التَّيَمُّمْ If water is found, there's no more tayammum anymore. And we in the West are just trying to be the tayammum. We're just trying to help the people and when the ulama speak and when the ulama come, we're quiet and we listen to them because we were tayammum and now the water is present. And so let's not undermine or belittle our scholars who have given their life and their time to this religion and that we ask Allah wherever we are, brothers and sisters, that Allah always guides us to the haqq. Finally, I want to conclude with a very important advice to myself mainly. The first thing I want to say inshallah ta'ala is I ask Allah's forgiveness for those who have said what they said about me, for those who have spoken about me the way that they've spoken about me and I also ask Allah ta'ala to reward them for bringing my shortcoming to me before death has come to me. The last, the worst thing would be is to meet the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or to come the day of judgment with sins on your shoulder. That is far greater than what could possibly happen in this world. And, Im and Imam al-Ilbiri, al Imam al-Ilbiri, rahimahullah, Abu Ishaq al-Ilbiri, in his Manzumatu uh, Ta'iyya, he said, Aba Bakrin, Aba Bakrin kashafta aqalla aibi wa mu'zamahu wa mu'zamuhu wa akhtaruhu wa mu'zamuhu satarta. Fakul ma shi'ta fiya min al-makhazi wa da'ifha fa innaka qad sadaqta. Aba Bakr, you've only unveiled a little bit of my shortcomings. And the majority of it, and a lot of it, you have you've hide it, hidden it for me. Say about me whatever you will, in, in terms of my shortcomings. And multiply it, for verily you have told the truth. And that is a manzuma, which a student of knowledge needs to learn and memorize. Also, what I wanted to say is, to myself and everyone else, inshallah, brothers and sisters, whenever a mistake comes from us, let's always try to come back. And let's not al-i'jabu bin nafs to be fascinated with ourselves not to take us. To come back to the truth is better to swim inside falsehood or to be remain or to remain in falsehood and to still be in falsehood. One of the reasons that people don't want to come back from mistakes is al-i'jabu bin nafs, they get fascinated with themselves. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in the Qur'an, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَجْعَلِ اللَّهُ لَهُ نُورًا فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ نُورًا And anyone who Allah does not make for him light, then verily there's no light for him. Masruq, he said, كَفَى بِالْمَرْءِ جَهْلًا Sufficient for a person, ignorance is, meaning enough for you to be ignorant is what? أَنْ يَعْجَبَ يعجب بِعَمَلِهِ أَنْ يَعْجَبَ بِعَمَلِهِ That the person becomes fascinated with his actions. That is enough for you to be ignorant. Um, and the reasons why a person would, or the causes that would make a person to be fascinated with their selves is number one, is تَحْقِيرُ عَمَلِ الْغَيْرِ They belittle other, other, another person's actions. Belittling another person's action. And the second one is مُغَالَاتُ الْأَتْبَعِ The people who follow you go extreme on you. And they take you above your status. And it is not befitting uh, that a person, Ikhwani, follows a person in a mistake. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for all our shortcomings, ma minha wa ma 
that which is apparent and that which is hidden. And I ask Allah wa ta'ala to reward every single person who brought to my, me, my, to my attention my shortcomings. May Allah reward them subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also may Allah wa ta'ala forgive the people who the people who said what they said about me or spoke about me in the way that they spoke about me. May Allah forgive them subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.